Hello there fellow modellers, Steve here and today's video is the completion of me T34 and Stuka for Coensee's Kursk group build. So we'll get straight onto it, I've got to move my camera. And there it is, completely finished. Just get me pointer. Right, and this has been an exciting build. I've really enjoyed doing it. Now, the Stuka for a 30 odd year old kit, matchbox kit, it's went together pretty well. There's just a bit of a, a bit of filling round uh, the wing joints there and the fuselage joins. But apart from that, no problem. And the deagles went on fine with the uh, the humble th uh, decal thinner stuff they went on fine and to make it uh, a bit more realistic I've used the stand what came with the kit what you obviously don't get anymore for some reason and I've tilted it a bit towards there as though it's like on a, a banked angle and it's going to hit the tank and to make it a bit more realistic I've actually put a plastic disc there to make it look as though the propeller's spinning. But I think it looks pretty good. I'll give you a close-up of it. And here we are. Rudimentary, but it works. It's better than having the three-bladed propeller and it looks like it's stuck in the air. Now, the T-34, which is there, is a Revel Rebox of an old Matchbox kit. Now that was a pretty easy kit to build. I think how many parts did I have? About not even 20 parts, I don't think. No, not more than 20 parts, but the, the wheels is put together so they are joined. But as far as the body goes, I think 10 bits probably. Uh, I've put a, a dark green wash over it. I hope you can see There's the backlight. I think you can see anywhere. I've put a green wash over it to make it look a bit more realistic and there was only uh, three markings that went on, two badges and that. It's obviously in Russian, I can't pronounce it. But uh, And the mud effect, I did that, I'll zoom in a bit on the, the wheels, I did that by mixing some soil out the garden with some white spirit to make it like a wet effect and I think it looks quite good I think I've made a good job of it now the rubber band tracks you've just got to sort of uh, do what you can with them really I stapled them together and you can see they're a bit dodgy but and I've obviously put a bit of wash on there as well. But I think that well, the staples get higher because they're underneath. But it's turned out okay. I'd like to think it has anyway. <laughs> uh, now I fancy getting a 135 T34. And maybe he's doing it in like a snow scene. Because I think it's, it looks a very nice tank. Clean lines. And correct me if I'm wrong anybody. But I did re read it somewhere that it was the best medium tank of the Second World War as in a wear of speed or armour or firepower or whatever there's somebody going up by the street on a motorbike now the diorama was the usual thing I use which is plasterboard I seem to have a, a load of that at work uh, and the small hills there I'll zoom out a bit the small hills there these are just uh, bits of polystyrene glued down, the gaps filled in with the Daz putty, smooth to a finish, so that there's no uh, bumps. Now the sat on the sand, sorry, the grass was recommended by Mike. Hi there, Mike. Doing okay? Now he did see it when he viewed this when I when it was getting uh, the hills were put on. 
You did see it. How are you going to do the grass? Because that's a lot of grass. Now, what I was originally going to do was get the the grass. I've got a sample here. That the grass that's in the bag, flaky grass. Obviously, put it glue on and sprinkle it on. But when Mike said that, that it, uh, he recommended this uh, website to look at for the longer grass, which would have been perfect for the type of terrain. Uh, roundabout Kursk. I don't think that would have been any good, so I'm glad I didn't do that. Uh, and I had a look on eBay, a bit of a scout about to see if I could find a, a bargain, and I found this stuff. It's a sheet of grass at a certain amount of size. Uh, a place called Osborne Models. It's in Devon somewhere. And it did... Uh, what was it? It was 11 quid, including post and packing, which I thought was very reasonable. So what I did was PVA glue all over and spread it out. I was always making pastry. Now these uh, exposed bits here, uh, where are they there? And there's some on there. There, where I was smoothing it down, with it obviously being a bit moist, the split. So what I've just did, I've just left them as though they are exposed rock, which I think there's a bit there as well, which I think is quite a good effect, really. Exposed rock. Now the, the tank tracks, marks, they were done with a black marker. Obviously, I don't... Well, I think the gap's right, anyway. And obviously, I've put a bit of the... Uh, garden soil white spirit wash along and it looks as though the the grass has been churned up with the tank tracks trying to get away from this bad boy here and I think that's turned out pretty well and I'll obviously I'll be interested in everybody's comments about what they think of it because I think I've done a very good job of it so that's that finished and I'll do a bit of a close up of the, the Stuka I had a bear go with the, uh, the framework because it's got a lot of framework on. I think I've did a fair good job of it. And you can just see the pilots in there. Obviously there was no, uh, not much of detail in the uh, cockpit itself. So that's just uh, put to one side. And it's got, it's, it's a dark green on the top. And underneath, which I'll go underneath now. Can I see? It's like blue with yellow wingtips and there's the cannon. Now I'm not sure what uh, calibre the cannon are, I'll have to look it up on the instructions. But they look like real tank killers. And obviously the spats, standard Stuka, make a distinctive of the Stuka. And it's got a little, it come with, but they look like T-34s, markings on the nose, kill markings I think of some description. Swim back out again. I'm not going to take it off the stand because I'll never get it back on. I'll never get it back on again. And the tank. Um, I've built two. This is the second one I've built with 176, and I don't think I'll build any more. I think they're far too small for me. I was uh, looking at uh, big mix models. All right, there, Mick. Now he's doing uh, an Albatross D3 for. Well, it's not uh, Aston 1965 anymore, it's Charlie's Group Builds. I think it's Group Builds, or Model Making. His World War One Group Builds, along with Greg, Greg Huff. Now, he's doing a, a 148 skill, uh, Albatross D3, and I sent him a message back, and I says, well, I'm doing a 172nd skill, Albatross D3, and he sent a message back and he goes, well, I hope you make a good job of it because that is far too small scale for me. And I think, well, as regards tanks, I think it could be smart. I prefer doing the bigger ones. Like the Rommel's half track that I did for Nigel Wells' North African group build, that turned out really well. I think it was because it's big. But it's, it's, uh, it's turned out a good. There's a, a bit of a, a shot of it with the light on. Gives a good effect, that wash stuff.
So we'll put it back on the screen again. Right, now, so, so I would like to thank Mike Coency for letting me take part in this group build, because I really enjoyed it, it was a good group build, I think it was a fair amount of people that did it, there was 70 odd, I think, ongoing, and I think there was about 55 that were ongoing builds, 33 completed, fantastic group build, and the slideshow was fantastic. I watched that, I've watched it twice with the, the one, and I liked the uh, the choice of music. Was that the German and the Russian national anthem? You know, played on an acoustic guitar. Because he did say that he was going to do it, but whether YouTube would let him do it, because people, other people, including myself, have had bother with putting soundtracks on YouTube, and it's been blocked. Copyright. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, and it was a really nice gesture with the prizes so congratulations to the three winners and as Mike hasn't isn't making videos anymore he has his reasons and we'll respect that I would just like to say Mike I've enjoyed watching all your videos because I'm writing it down here because I can't be right here because you're an excellent modeler and you're a really nice bloke and I've enjoyed watching all your videos and I hope you, you keep them on for reference purposes Ah, Mike Cohn C did that. Do, 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 do. And we'll go on and say it right. So that's it. Right, so, and look after yourself and take care. And you'll continue building models. And I hope you put in, watch people's videos and put in the odd comment now again. That would be nice to hear from you that way. So take care. Right, so my next video will be a, com a completion of me Catalina for the flying boat group build of. Chanta North Wales and Radzi 76, which ended on Sunday, but I've got it completed nearly. It's just a bit of touching up paint to do, and then I've got the markings to put on. And the updates on all the other group builds that I've got going, which is the World War I group build, the Adversaries group build, uh, the Reggae group build, and the Matchbox community build. And possibly I might do two others. Depends on what the time limit is like. There's a one that's going on from Ryan, I can't remember his second name, he's doing a Great Britain group build, which looks interesting. And there's also another guy, I don't know whether he's Danish or Swedish, when he does his, uh, his video review, which I was watching last night because it started on Monday, there's a Danish and Swedish flag. I'm not sure which is which. Correct us if I'm wrong, he's called uh, Edgar's Models. So hi there, Edgar. Now he's doing a one, like a what-if group build. Now that sounds very interesting. I'm, I might be up for that, because I, I think I might have the kit for that. So that's it with me. I've done for me video. Now I'm going to get me tea. And I'm going to do a Lenny here. I'm not having quiche or salmon. I'm having mackerel spread with grated cheese. So there's my tea. Right, so, happy modelling, and I'll see yous on the next video. See you later. Bye. Tarano.